Hi, Bill. This is a uh, free website analysis from Green Cup, and we're going to be taking a look at the 68 website. Uh, so, without further ado, let's take a look. So, when we first land on the 68 site, um, the first thing that I expect visually is uh, some sort of photograph or banner here, what we call a hero shot. Um, not, not a scrolling banner, those aren't very good for, um, for mobile anymore because of the loading, but there's no imagery at all here. And uh, being a coffee shop um, and a store, that begs that there should be some sort of imagery. And so you kind of lose me right away just um, just with the wall of text. Um, so I'd really love to see a nice image here. Um, so what is the 6 eight? Um, I would love to say, let's see, like instead of what is the 6 eight, I think what is 6 eight cafe? Um, because that's what it really is, right? Um, it's a cafe that happens to have um, the fair trade products in addition to fair trade coffee. Um, so I think that would be good. Um, explaining that it's affiliated with um, Better Way is good. Um, this is linked um, to the photo and so that's confusing. I think we should clean that up there. Um, have that linked to Better Way Imports as well. Um, location, again, just change this to 6-8 Cafe, um, but I think this is great here. It's good to have a map, although you could honestly have it be, um, have it in the footer here next to ours, or we can move ours up um, to right below here. Um, because technically, when um, when one is looking for location, they're also looking for hours. That's, that's usually what we do is we couple them together. Um, and this is nitpicky, but the map is a, it's it's using up the margin a little bit here. So like this here, there's a little bit of a bigger margin than this side. It gets very close to this area here. So that's just nitpicky, but uh, okay. And this and and I think this is nice too here. So supporting local business. Um, although I think you could probably mention Better Way Imports again, since you guys are um, Better Way Imports is a local business and a local first member too. Um, so okay. Um, okay, so about why I come to the 6-8. Okay, so this is good that there's pictures here, but I think that they could be bigger. Um, we're losing a lot of this using this white space, and honestly, we're, we're losing this too. I wouldn't be doing a boxed layout in the first place. Um, I think it, I think it adds, um, kind of like a distraction to the eye, so I would just, I would, I would have... The box layout go away and have no background here and have this be full width uh, full width layout so that this would move over a little bit as with this and then we get more room for photos and text. Um, uh, yeah, something I don't like about this. Maybe capitalize the T since this is lowercase. My brain seems to think that there shouldn't be a space here. That's your branding though so I can't I can't do much about that. Um, anyway, I think fo bigger, larger photos, um, having them not link, uh, yeah, that's a 404 even. So there's some issues here with regards to your photographs that's leading to a 404. And honestly, they should light box. So this should open here on this page and just kind of get bigger if we're going to do a gallery layout like this. Um, I love that we're talking about the fair trade coffee and that where it's, where it's, from, although uh, you did mention that this is an old supplier and that's not your current supplier. So we need to update this uh, information here. And then I would love to have the story about how he gets his coffee and how it's direct trade and not fair trade, um, or not just, just fair trade, uh, because your your explanation as to why direct trade is better was, was um, personally moving. Um, and I think that uh, that story would be really good for potential um, potential customers as well. Uh, okay, so this doesn't look like a link. It just looks like floating text. And this is going to go again to nowhere. Yeah, so we've got a lot of 404s on this website, which is really hurting your SEO. Um, Google hates 404s. And it will, um, it will really... Google will dock you for this. Um, so we need to get, get after those right away. Um, I would love, you know, we're talking about uh, women who are re being rescued from the sex trade. 
Um, but there's no photographs of any of the people who actually do the work. Um, and I know this isn't the Better Way website proper. I know that Better Way has its own website. Um, but to have some sort of um, imagery here of women who are makers, who are making the goods that are in the store, um, it would just it would help uh, a customer really get emotionally involved with your brand and your work. Um, and then, yeah, we want to make this look like a link. And then ours needs to be like down here. It's kind of just floating. So I would love to have ours here. Like so copyright, bump down, ours here. And then that would balance these out as well. And this is really, really wide. There's no reason on a scrolling page, this should be so wide. This should cut off about here. So, okay. Good design things. Okay, our coffee. Um, we already mentioned some of the stuff on here. I think 6 8, about 6 8 should be much more about the partnership between the um, Butterway Imports and the coffee shop itself. So, I could expect when I walk in, as opposed to the story of our coffee. Okay, so we've got a bunch of broken JPEGs. That's really bad, again, for SEO and for anybody who wants to trust your brand. These are all wonderful, but again, they're not they're not going anywhere. Um, so we've got a 404 here, um, and they, they should open up into a light box. And we've got this extra space here, which I'm assuming is supposed to be a sidebar, but it's unused, and so it just looks messy. Um, okay, so it's good to have the coffee itself, but I would love some more information at the top about the story about the coffee, how you met with the guy in, um, what is he in Owasso? I believe he said he's in Owasso. Um, you know, how he got involved with making the coffee, why the, why his coffee, why did you switch, switch vendors, um, how it's a local vendor, even though he sources from uh, international locations. I would love to have that story here. I think it would be a lot more um, a lot more uh, involving for your customers, pulling on their heartstrings, getting them in, getting them that unique experience, especially with young people. Um, the coffee goers these days, people who want coffee at an artisanal type place like this, as opposed to a Starbucks, are young, they're hipsters, they want story, they want to be involved, even if it's just emotionally and mentally. So um, we need to add to this more. Okay, so menu, see this is redundant a little bit with what the menu is. So, um, yeah, I wonder if we can combine those pages. Not a broken JPEG. That's going to go to a broken link too. Um, and this is all broken here. So, really, I'm seeing something. So, there's like some broken, like what? There's a lot that's just been neglected on this site, basically. I mean, that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing the link missing, the image, the logo missing from Better Way Imports. This doesn't even look like a link until I hover over it. I didn't know this was a link until I hovered over it, so it could be a different color. Uh, that too, okay. Yeah, it's just messy looking. Um, for a menu, it's nicer to have it lay out something like this. Like, this looks a lot better um, in dual columns. And then... Um, Honestly, there's, there's even better ways than that to have a menu layout so that it looks really nice um, and graphic. Graphic in the positive way, not the negative way. Um, like, a, like a paper menu would be. And so, um, and then these all, you know, they're all going to a different page. So we need to basically light box all the images and fix the images that are broken um, on the site. And I would love to see bags of your coffee. Maybe that's what this is. That looks like it could be. Or maybe of the tea. I love that. I would love to have them labeled and, and really get my my taste buds thinking about what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay, photos. Okay, some of them are broken. Let's just double check that by reloading the page, see if something just didn't, nope, yeah, okay. We've got some broken pictures, that's bad. Um, and honestly, we could get social media involved by having you on Instagram and then having them use um, the hashtag or tagging the um, cafe so that these all aggregate from Instagram and then you'll never have broken ones again and they'll all be done by your customers and so your customers can really get involved in, and they'll want your pictures to their pictures to be on here um, and so that's something we can do in the store too is have a have that posted um, or have it on the receipt have it on the um, the cuff of the coffee itself um, so that they know that they can do that and then they'll want to be involved um, people just want to 
they, they like sharing and they like um, knowing that if they're if they take a picture it goes someplace else besides just Instagram that's really great motivation so let's talk about doing that I think that will be easier for you to maintain as well um, and the contact page um, no one's going to use this form. I don't know how, how much conversion you've been having on this form, but there's no pictures. There's no information as to why I should contact you, how I should contact you. Um, there's no phone number. I would rather call a coffee shop personally, but um, maybe I would use a form to ask about allergies. Um, there's so much more you could be doing on this page. This is valuable real estate being a separate page, and nothing is here. So I would really like to massage this content. Um, start thinking about um, what else we could put on here as far as information goes, photographs, um, and really an invitation to contact because this um, right now it doesn't really make me feel like I want to contact you. Uh, so the overall gist of it is um, the site's been neglected and um, I'm assuming it was probably put together by somebody who just um, didn't have the didn't have the experience necessary for a coffee shop website. Um, I'd love to see it not be box layout. I'd love to see more images, better content, and really heartstrings content. Um, content that really explains the mission of the cafe and its partnership with Better Way Imports, imagery that goes along with that, um, to make me want to come in, make me want to get involved by buying the coffee and knowing that that's going to a larger cause. Um, I think that the mission behind your business is, is already such a good story and it really should be pulling people in the door, um, but you're not because we're not really telling that story, both in the coffee shop as you, you and I talked about, but also here on the website. All right. Well, this was a Green Cup website analysis. Uh, if you're interested in getting one yourself, go ahead and contact us at greencupdesign.com.